Jamal Murray hurt his left knee, and it is now been confirmed that he is out for the season. Jamal Murray has a torn ACL. Uh, I'm devastated for him. Uh, I feel bad for him. I hope him. I wish him a speedy recovery. I hope everything comes goes well. I hope he comes back the same player or even better. He's still very young. I think he's like 24, 25 years old, 26. I think at the tops. He's still young. He can come back from this. I believe in Jamal Murray. And he's a sniper. He's he's athletic. He, he's had some great dunks, but he's also a great three-point shooter. So I think his game will still be great, even if he doesn't come back 100% like athletically. But after a great bubble run, after a historic playoff uh, performance um, versus the Jazz and then versus the Clippers... Jamal Murray came back this season, started a little bit slow, but then picked it up. And he was having a career season, 21.2 points per game, 4.8 assists per game, 1.3 steals per game, shooting 47.7 from the field, 40.8 from three. Jamal Murray was putting him and Jokic were putting the Nuggets on their back. Then they traded for Aaron Gordon, and Aaron Gordon's performing well. Um, they're 7-2. and two. They're 7-1 and one going into the Warriors game with Aaron Gordon in the Nuggets lineup, and now they're seven and two. But Jamal Murray's out for the season. Uh, I feel bad for him. Like I said, the Nuggets were one of those teams that were trending up. They made a move for Aaron Gordon to have another versatile wing that you could throw at players. You could throw Aaron Gordon on LeBron, on on AD. He's he's bulky enough. He has the size. He he's pretty quick. He can kind of keep up with them. And if you got scorers like Jamal Murray, you got Michael Porter Jr., you have Jokic, then you're able to compete. But without Jamal Murray, without he's he's another player that can go off like any given night for 50 or 40 or 30 or just give you 20 in a quarter. But now without him, uh, I don't see the Nuggets. Honestly, with the way they were looking with Aaron Gordon, they were probably the third favorite. They were one of the favorites in the West to make it to the finals. Like it was, I know it's a small sample size, but they were trending up, and the Nuggets were looking dangerous. Without Jamal Murray, I think second round is their cap, is their limit. That's the most they could go. I would be, I would be surprised if they go further. Jamal Murray is integral part of that team, but I think this this shortened season takes another body, takes another toll on another player. I think this shortened season, yeah, they took ten games off of the season 72 games but the season is so short it's so condensed that we're having a lot of back-to-backs we're having a lot of teams putting extraneous amount of toll on these players bodies and now I'm worried I'm worried that we're going to keep seeing more injuries Uh, I just saw a tweet that the Miami Heat and the Grizzlies play eight games over the next 12 days so I hope they make it out of this stretch with no injuries but that just smells it reeks of an injury waiting to happen uh, like eight games in 12 days that's that's a lot of games to play that's a lot of back-to-backs and I like my wish is you know the Heat and the Grizzlies make it out of this stretch healthy and they're able to finish the NBA season as healthy as they can but yeah that's that's one of the problems that's one of the the difficulties that we had that the NBA had to make with the shortened season like last season was so long it took so much calendar so much of the calendar that this season this upcoming season the season that we're on was always going to take a toll was always going to be tough to to make it happen to make the logistics happen i think the nba tried their best but a lot of back-to-backs a lot of a lot of players getting hurt and i just hope we make it the rest of the season without a, a lot of key players getting hurt um or any players but obviously the key players like as an nba fan those are the ones that we love seeing that bring bring in the crowds but yeah i hope none of the players get hurt i hope all these back-to-backs go effortlessly and i hope uh i hope the nuggets are still able to contend i hope jamal Murray comes back healthy like i said those playoff matchups those playoff performances that he had last year were one of a kind him and mitchell were going off it was I still can't forget how exciting those games were. But, yeah, I think Jamal Murray, he'll come back. He looks like a player that has his, his head on straight. So I think he's going to attack this rehab. He's going to attack this recovery, this road back with, like, a Mamba mentality. And he's going to come back 
maybe even better than he ever was. But Jamal Murray, you're probably not listening to this. You're probably not going to watch this. But I wish you the best of recoveries, and I hope you come back stronger.